you ready? I can edit out all this stuff. Okay. Have a good time. Okay. Hi, everybody. Summer Pendarvis with Weikert Realtors Pendarvis Company here. I've got Jake, the local blacksmith, here today. And we are here to discuss the historic forge and blacksmith here in Edgefield. So, Jake, how long have you been blacksmithing? Well, I've been blacksmithing about eight years. Eight years. So about started when I was living on a sailboat. Well, not, which made it rather difficult, but yeah. doing reenactment shows, we do traveling work. So what sort of reenactment shows? Uh, we do pirates, Civil War, some frontier, okay. this and that. So back when forges were more common? Yes. Forges were more common. And how old is this forge About, here? Well, this would be the anvil. And the anvil. The forge is behind us. <laughs> the anvil in front of me, which you can't see right, actually at the moment, is from 1943. Uh, it's a German-made petting house anvil, weighs 435 pounds. That weighs a lot. It's, it's heavy. Nobody's going to steal it. How did you get it in here? <laughs> Uh, it's, it was a trick. Uh-huh. It was a trick. But it slides quite nicely on a 2x12. There you go. This and that. But you don't want to, you, nobody's going to pick it up and leave with it. So it's German. It's Come German, on. made in 1943, mm -hmm. or stamped in 1943. So the Germans used it in World War II, didn't get melted down, and it found its way here. And it's got a wonderful ring. All right, Jake, so we black this sound. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, um, tell me a little bit about the building and where we are in Edgefield. Uh, we're just off the main street by the courthouse. Mm -hmm. The building was built in 1917 as a blacksmith shop. Always been a blacksmith shop, just hadn't always been open. Mm -hmm. The original blacksmith that worked here, McKinley Oliphant, worked till 1967. When he died and the building was closed, till about 2000, when, uh, <coughs> excuse me, when someone got a grant to open it back up, historical grant, mm -hmm. and it's been open and closed, open and closed for a number of years. Recently, we purchased the building, and now she stays open. We're open Thursdays and Saturdays for the public, or you can swing by, get the phone number. I'm, I only live two minutes away. I'll be happy to open up and show anybody inside. He made me a lovely Christmas ornament this year, and it's an icicle, and it is made from... Actually, it's made from the wires, from the political signs. So uh, don't work garbage in waste on those political signs. People bring them all down to the blacksmith and he can turn them into works of art. Yes, we can. And um, he also, I have a lovely little candelabra, little candle holder mm -hmm. that he made for me. Yeah, um, a lot of the stuff we do is reenactment wise, so primitive cookware, spoons, ladles, uh, fireplace holders. tools, can old style candle holders, pieces and parts, horse picks, make different stuff from whatever out of uh, old horseshoes. If I can see it, usually I can make it. He's pretty phenomenal. So if you have any custom work you need to have done, but he's a great asset to Edgefield and the community in our downtown, and I wanted everybody to get to meet Jake. So thank you for listening in today and meeting Jake. I like to call him Jake the Pirate. Um, he's going to kill me. Uh, no. <laughs> I should have wear my pirate hat. <laughs> we'll have to come back on National Talk Like a Pirate Day. And we can have Jake. That we can do. I, Manny. I, Missy. Pulpit. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll make sure Pulpit is here. That would right. be the wife. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. See you have next week. Have a wonderful week. day. Come see us. Yes.